The latest exchange of envoys between two Koreas reflect the South's efforts to keep the Olympic-driven dialogue momentum going. But in order for any improvement across the border, Pyongyang must sit down for talks with Washington. That was made crystal clear by Seoul's top diplomat on Monday. Here's Park hee with more. South Korea says it will keep up its momentum of dialogue from the Pyeongchang Olympics to push North Korea onto the path of denuclearization. Speaking at the 2018 World Journalists Conference on Monday, South Korean Foreign Minister Kang kyung hwa said that North Korea must take measures towards denuclearization for dialogue to take place. Although the recent inter-Korean talks were a positive outcome of a series of consistent efforts, Kang emphasized that the North needs to redirect its nuclear stance for a peaceful resolution to the nuclear issue. And a peaceful resolution also requires direct talks between the United States and North Korea. But we are well aware that inter-Korean dialogue and improvements in South-North Korean relations cannot proceed in the absence of progress in the efforts to peacefully resolve the North Korean nuclear issue, which requires, in the first instance, direct talks between the United States and North Korea. Foreign Minister Kang also said that sanctions and pressure on the regime will continue unless it takes substantial measures towards denuclearization. Although the Moon Jae-in administration wishes to seek a peaceful resolution to the issue, it plans to work closely with the United States to pressure Pyongyang to change course. So far, North Korea has not indicated any desire to engage in denuclearization talks with the United States. But it knows very well that with the heavy sanctions placed upon it, its key interest cannot be secured without coming to terms with the United States. She added that South Korea will also maintain close cooperation with key partners in the region for a smooth transition to dialogue and with the rest of the international community to solve the nuclear crisis and establish a lasting peace regime on the Korean peninsula. Park Hee-jun, Arirang News.